Hi Trini. Hi darling, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Very well. This is quite a nice one because this is things I bought and I'm loving. It's quite good to talk about why I buy something. And there's a few things you might have seen on a closet confession or two, but it's like the reasoning behind why they're here. And also what I bought in the last few months, which is a mistake and I shouldn't have bought because we should learn by that, I think, Jemima. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start with this, which is something I'm very tempted to buy. Molly was looking for some cohorts that weren't Serena Butte prices. I do like this. I was tempted not to like it because I'm used to my cohorts having that flair of the Serena Butte. Yeah. But this feels very comfortable and also it feels like you could wear it many different ways mm. and I like something that's like that. That would be the reason to keep it. And it's a fantastic colour. There's a few colours. So first up, what I love about it is even though it's Massimo Dutti, Spanish brand, where I always feel in Massimo Dutti, even more than Zara, the sleeves are too short for me. The sleeves aren't too short. I like that because I think clothes look more expensive when the sleeve doesn't look like it's too short for you. Yeah. Um, the second thing is I kind of love this tie because you know how I do the half tuck. But the purpose of the half tuck is for people also who feel a bit uncomfortable with their tummy. Now, you could wear this entirely out, but there's a difference between wearing a shirt out plain and having this lovely thing that's draping over it as that's a sort of scarf sweet. piece. Yeah. It just adds to it. It does, yeah. yeah. I like the way that they've been really clever and they've done this cut up the sides, like they've been listening to me in all my videos. <laughs> I like the way they've designed this. It does crease a bit. I tucked that in a few minutes ago. It's already a bit creasy. Mm -hmm. So the creasability I haven't checked, but I like the flexibility of how you can wear it. And also with any cord, you can open it and you can wear it like it's a little jacket in the summer. Would you do anything else with the neck material? Um, you know, you could make it smarter and you could, you know, turn it around and do that kind of sort of short pussycat or big pussycat like that you could make it a bit more dramatic i could tuck it in like this i could put a nice jacket over it as well so i could do that with it you know put on some nice glasses i've got some new glasses i want to show you mm. um but those which i got in venice Lovely. but that look you know it feels really cool and smart so the versatility of this with this extra bit i think is super clever because it elevates a cohort because you never think of a cohort with a pussycat bow. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Anyway, it didn't just come in one colour. This is the other one. It's not the same style. Same trouser. The shirt is different, but it still has the slip, which I really like. I'm wearing it open. This is a great way to wear any kind of cohort so that it has that versatility. Um, and then I'm thinking I might team it up with another new purchase. This I bought with Lila and, you know, I want to take you through the process of my justification. Take us through. So I'll take you through the process. So. I saw this Ooh. in Selfridges, and this is a bag, and it's by Last Frame. I love the color pink. It's a really good pink. It's a pink that would suit you, Molly. It's a good pink. It's a really nice pink. It's a sink pink you could wear, Jemima, as well, because it's a kind of neutral pink. It's not too dirty. It's mm. not too fuchsia, which is warm skin toned, or neon, which is cool skin toned, or raspberry, which is... Um, just in between, yeah. so I love that. Such a strong colour, Trini, but what colour would you wear with it, makeup-wise? So you can see, like here, I put all these colours down that I think are great for certain things I'm gonna do. But when I'm doing something like this, I don't want to necessarily try and match it to the shakes, it will go wrong. And one of my favourite favorite looks this summer is using Wheezy, which just gives a little, neutralness but with depth and I put it here I put it on my cheeks like that and I even put it on my eyes and it's when you want to feel that you're not wearing no makeup and then I blend that in and I feel I have a little polish of some makeup without yeah. feeling covered in makeup you're glowing it's good isn't it yeah. I mean Wheezy Sheer Shimmer is a phenomena happens to also be Louise who's my um rock the best this is something that I'm thinking about keeping. I really have to question whether I need another Serena Butte set because you know, any of you who followed me for a while, you know my addiction to Serena Butte. And then I had gone to her house for lunch and she said, I've got these new colors coming. And I saw that the one was exactly the Trini London Yellow. So I ordered it and it came two days ago. So I have decided if I'm gonna buy it or not. But in terms of, you know how often I have this need to wear the color of my company because there's lots of events I go to and I want to wear 
Trini London Yellow. Mm -hmm. Molly is brilliant because she's like, do you need it, Trini? And she said, I don't know if it is Trini London Yellow. And then I had to say, it is Molly. And that's where we're at. <laughs> um, um, Trini, why are there another two shirts on the rail in the same colour? Because in this process, if I do decide to keep it, I would never... You're just suggesting I get three shirts in the same thing. One is the, one is the fitted shirt in mm -hmm. small, one is in medium. Okay. And one is getting the oversized shirt. And I thought, which shirt would I get? So I was actually going to ask you girls, which okay. shirt should I get? That right. makes so sense. It's that thing of when we choose something. And sometimes if we make the wrong decision at the beginning about size and we go too sneakily under, we might have gone there on a day when it fit us, but it might not fit us again. So I think always be generous with your body with sizing. Mm. Never think... I can just slip slip into them and they look so good, so let me get them. I always think, where am I at? How's my bloatedness, whatever? And just don't go and suck yourself in. Great advice. Okay, yeah. so with the shirt, I wanted to do the small, but I have quite broad shoulders. And I actually thought the medium is probably more roomy. And I should get the medium because I have over here a few Serena Butte shirts that I don't wear anymore because... The shirt is too narrow for me, so I don't want to make that mistake again. Okay. But if we compare this to the wardrobe, do I have that colour? No. Do I have anything near that colour? No. no. Is it the Trini London yellow? Yes. yes. Do I need to keep it? Yes. Would I do yellow with yellow? Not sure. I think yellow I think is silver. different. I would like more. Yeah, I think it's a lovely bag. I was given this by one of the um, people who came to Trini Londonland, so I can't thank you enough because they actually had it on their body at the time. Oh. And then um, I said, that's such a fat bag. And then they came up to see me an hour later and they said, I want to give you this. And I was like, you've just taken everything out of your bag to give it to me. Please don't give it to me. That's so and, she, and then I realised how much it meant to her to give to me. So I accepted it. So I am going to be using it, but maybe not with this. I could do with this outfit. Yeah, I mean, I it's not it like is cool. This. Oh, is the um, big shirt. Yeah. Now, the thing about the big shirt is that I could wear it in the evening and I could just be everything open like that. Um, and then I could have a necklace on. Would I have something like that? And then would I just tuck it in and wear it in different ways where I might have that tucked in, and wear it with a clean, more mandarin collar, which is a little trick you can do if you feel the collar is eating you. I think the, no, that's not the right thing. Hold on. <laughs> Would I put some necklace stuff on it, you know, like that? Mm -hmm. Because I think then the idea of wearing a long shirt makes it feel smarter if it's silk like this, when you throw on some long necklaces. So I feel like that nobody would think for a second I'm in my pajamas. No. Which sometimes people feel nervous about with a cord. I love yeah. those necklaces, I think. Shirt-wise, do we like the fact there's bottom... Um, I prefer the oversized. And then I know I will wear it. And then if I want to wear it in a fitted way, I could then take those off. I could tuck that out. If I had a bra on, I could do that moment when you know mm. when you wear it like that. So it's sort of... Tucked into we the bra think, strap. Could I get away with that? But, like, I could do that, you know, just to make it feel as fitted as the other shirt. Yeah. So oh, it's like sometimes with oversized shirts, you want to think, how can you make them feel fitted so they have flexibility to do both? But still, what do you think? So because I think I'm going to do a mad earring, I don't want to do a bright lip that is going to conflict with that or try to match the dress by doing a mixture of pear lip to cheek and perhaps Valentina, which would get that colour. So instead, I'm actually going to take a little bit of Ream, which is a flush blush, just to give a little bit more pinkiness to my lip. And then I might put some Dido on top. And then on my cheek. You know what I'm also doing, which I'm using a lot of right now, and I just realise how brilliant it is, and I haven't used it enough, is face finish. Because I always use Miracle Blur, and a lot of you ask me about face finish, but face finish, I always take a bit out of the pot, and I pat it down. It's like a powder, but not a powder. And then I'll just tap it on where I don't want to be too shiny. And it works so well. And especially in the summer, we don't want that feeling of heavy makeup on our face or heavy powdering on our face because I think it can look like our face has got too much makeup on it. Trini, you've um, got another dress. I have one really bright pink, which you've probably seen. But I liked this because the back was different. Oh, yes. You know, and I like the fact there was a looseness here like that. I think there's something about them being incredibly elegant, to my mouth. Yes. And at the same time, very easy. I do believe big earrings and these dresses have a great relationship. But I'm also aware that when things are halter neck, 
and maybe you have a boob. I feel my boobs are right out there in this one. You want something to nestle in between your boobs, because yeah. otherwise you could feel uni boobs. So if yeah. you wear this and you've got a slightly bigger boob, I think a really great way of wearing it is creating that V-neck with a necklace, mm. you know? And, and even though it's a big earring on, I feel okay if it's a really long necklace to wear it, because I just think it's an extension of the earring and it can be quite pretty. Yeah. And then it just breaks up the form of this sense of a halter neck when it doesn't totally suit you. Okay, nice. So with this, I think I'm going to do a red lip because it's got red in it, but it's not all over the dress. And I look to myself and I think it's Rossi, which is a lip to cheek. It is the color, but it's quite muted. I'm thinking I wouldn't mind a little bit of sparkle. So I could do Swainy, which is a little orange for this look, or Demon actually is better and I love a red lip with white and then earrings wise I'd probably bring some white in you know with the heaviness of the red let's put some white back in my face and I love a white earring with a red lip so this is from ASOS design and I'm using this in our kind of new acquisitions because I got it last year but I haven't worn it in the summer yet, so it feels really new in my wardrobe. It allows you to feel that excitement of something new without having to splurge. Yeah, when it's still got the label on it, you yeah. feel like you're going shopping. Yeah, this I love, and, and I think what I love about the dress, it is quite busy, and I'd be tempted with its busyness, oddly, to put my hair back. Mm. I don't know why, but it is quite a busy look, so let me go Spanish Senorita. I know it's got the cutouts, but you don't really notice straight away. No. And then you do and you're like, that's cool. Yeah, because you don't think I'm seeing up her bottom, which you're not quite seeing up my bottom, but <laughs> I love the fact the air grows through it. It's long sleeves, so it protects me from the sun, but it's aeration on my body. It's like Broderie on base. Mm. And it moves well. It does move well. Yeah. And it's linen, which I never usually love, which is nicest fabric to wear in the heat but I don't always love the design. Shoes wise I'm doing the Rob Claire shall we? A great lip. Good isn't it Demon? So good. I know and I haven't worn it for so long I'm gonna wear a lot more now. I'm wearing this really off pinkish colour for me which can wash me out a lot so I'm just gonna do I think I'm just gonna do some Dido just to give my lips a bit of passion. I could actually do something like a mad Sha-sha on top, actually, I'm just suddenly changing my mind. Sometimes in the summer, by changing totally your lip colour, you take an outfit from classic to cool. And I think, with this top, wearing that sort of pink was a bit obvious, but wearing this, Sha-sha, which is slightly orangey, makes the top cool. These are some Zimmerman trousers that I bought at the very beginning of the year, and it was that thing that when before it's hot, I'm buying summer. That's when I make my biggest amount of mistakes because I'm just thinking, oh, I'm so bored of my winter wardrobe. We spent six months in it. Let's get some summer clothes to regenerate us. And then I didn't wear them until St. Patrick's Day because it had green in it. Molly then put them on the rail just now because she remembered these were new this season. And she put this pink top with them, which is very old Zara. I love the combo and I think it works. And I think I would wear this together. And I'll probably wear this with a white t-shirt. Do you have any bangles? Bangles really too. I could do Just because there's the copper in it, I feel like it could do Ooh. some complimenting. Copper so. bangles? I was going to do silver, but we can do copper more. I love the shape of those when you walk, Trini. Huh? The Good shape, shape of those trousers when you walk. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good shape. These I'm really happy, they do have a place. They've got an amazing flow, so they fit the shape. It was mainly the fact that I felt slightly like a golfer in them, but I don't anymore. <laughs> And I might even do that new bag. Would I do that new bag with it? I don't know if it's right or not to do that. What do we think? Is that a bit mad? I, I don't, think it's fine. Yeah. You don't not love I it. I don't hate it. You don't hate it. That's what I mean. It's quite different. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's, and it's got the checks. There might be something in it. I don't yeah. know. It might need a bit of work still. But mm. yeah, I'm happy I got them. Would you do a belt? Yeah, that's the other thing I could do, Jemima. As we've gone for sort of bronzy, I wouldn't do that. But would I, in fact take a belt and these are thin belts and I haven't worn thin belts for years. Team, what do we think? I don't think it necessarily needs it but I don't mind it either. No. Mm. Sometimes I felt belt, belts very aging but I used to wear belts in a certain way and so I never wore belts or trousers because it felt cooler but this way. Mm. Sometimes you just want to wear a belt though don't you? Yeah. Just feel like... I think it destroys the line of it actually I have to say I wouldn't do it with this. Okay. No. It's very tricky when you're doing makeup and you've got so many colours on so I'm just going to go to the most neutral and I'm going to go to Katie again and just put that on there. So I'm doing this and it's it's by, how do we pronounce it? Loewe. 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 
Louis. Anyway, <laughs> it's the Spanish label that we'd never know how to pronounce. And I never like to buy anything with a logo. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, this has a logo whoppingly large. Although it's yellow, so. Yeah, it, that is true. <laughs> and I generally don't like to buy, what's this called, the golfer oh. thing? Yeah, it's so in the back of it. You're going to all remember now and write it down, but anyway. Harlequin. Harlequin. Well, you could say Harlequin. There's another name, but it's okay. So, um, <laughs> almost. I did it on Closet Confessions with some pajamas, and some of you were like, oh. But I loved it. And then I thought, how else can I wear it for the summer without any layering? So, although it has the logo, I sort of don't mind it because it's not saying Christian Dior or Prada really mm. loud, which I don't love to be the brand ambassador for something. You know, it always feels like when you wear a very big logo. And shoes wise, you know, I either do this or I do. I mean, I just don't know if I could do this, but I'm going to just show you for a moment. A yellow slider. <laughs> I think it might look too much like I've just had a manicure. You know, I think that's the thing. It's like, hey, I just had the pedicure, sorry. Just leaving just the, the spa. Leaving the spa, but there's something sort of fun about the relaxedness of that. Not the yellow in the mm. jumper. Not the yellow in the jumper. But still, I'm looking down, I am feeling that bit. I'm feeling that bit, mm. yeah? Are we feeling that? Yeah, they're not okay. right. feeling that. So then the process continues and we keep going to pairs of shoes and think what works and what doesn't. So then I'll go to another purchase I've made that I have not worn yet. And there that, look, advertising a logo. Maybe that's why I haven't been wearing them too. There I am telling you a whole bloody story about how I don't like to advertise brand. <laughs> what am I doing for Prada there? Advertising a brand. But I think that shape is quite nice. Yeah. You know, it's quite sort of utilitarian. Um, what about oh, the yellow Russell and Bromley's? It's a very good point, Molly. I do love the dirtiness of the yellow with the dirtiness of this purple. Mm. It's not a lilac. They it's work. kind of, yeah. That works, right? Yeah. yeah. And I like the white sole just yeah. to... Fresh. That's yeah. Nice. Fresh. That's great. That's going to go to be worn again. This coat, I sort of always refrain from wearing because I felt the sleeves are too short. And like that, do you see? It's mm -hmm. like I am an orangutan. All right. But... I put on the Tiffany bracelet, and I'm not an orangutan, I'm purposeful. That's the difference, these tweaks that can change then. So many things in your wardrobe you haven't been wearing. Okay, next. Bye. This is something that Molly <laughs> said, let's put it on because we can have some nice things from the high street that we can talk about. Okay, there's something maybe I could make about it. I um, didn't expect you to put that around your neck. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I have. What do you think? Because without it, all right, mm -hmm. I've lost any purpose. I f hate necks that are wide. They just don't do anything for me. Let's talk about necklines for a second. Or this kind of neckline where it's sort of boat neck and does that. Mm. It's just not me. It just makes me feel unfinished or like a round neck. I mean, an open round. This is like the, this is the shape that if you are hourglass with boobs and a cleavage can be beautiful sweetheart neckline. On me, Terrible. One, one thing I would do with this, because I want to just see, because I think for some people this is quite nice, so I'm going to show you, is that I would, for me, do this. I would put a safety pin there, Molly, and make the neckline work better for me. I'm just then going to belt it in the middle. Do you feel now I could be a chef? Yeah. It's an element of chefdom. I think it's fun. Then now it is a bit more fun. Mm hmm. I do love the colours of the stripes. Yeah, I do love the colours of the stripes, but is, is it because you just want to be uh, uh, eating an ice cream on a beach? I think definitely <laughs> that the trousers don't work with it because they need to be narrow. Mm -hmm. So if I was going to change this up, I would go for a narrow trouser. I could just do it without trousers. Wowza. Anyway, let's, enough of this, let's move on, shall we? Ooh, I know that Nisha would love me to do her, but today, oh, I could do some Nisha. Sheer shimmer and Nisha, let's bung that on top. Get the color in of the blouse. Very unlike me to have something so basic, but it's not basic. But like when I do basic, it is doing the Zara jean that I love, that they've done every year. And this is, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically a cropped flare. And I have it in lilac, I have it in white, I have it in navy, and I have it in a very pale blue. And I like the way it's high cut. I like the way the pockets are in the right place on the bum. Um, and it's that repeat purchase moment. The top is um, my memory of my love affair with Isabel Morant tops. 
I used to buy them a lot and I've got lots downstairs and this I, I do a lot of this. Yeah, it's, it's really fab. yeah, it's just very nice, incredibly pretty print. Would I do the silver belt with this? Ooh. Ooh. A bit of jazzing to just put something in it which feels more me. Like that could be nice. No, I think fun. I would also I would cuff it because these sleeves are a tiny bit short. That sort of gives it a little something extra. Yeah. yeah. And it's not super obvious that belt, is it? No, it's, it's not, because it's so thin it just hangs you just see bits of it. Would you do the matching silver bag? No. I think it'll be a step too far. Right. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I just feel then it's silver, 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 silver. Okay. Yeah. Should we try? What bag would you do? <laughs> well, navy. I might do the silver. Oh. <laughs> no, but this, I don't think I'll do silver and silver. No, I actually love that navy. Oh, that's so good, Bonnie. It's also, when you wear silver, this cobalt blue is one of its best colours. Even though the metal, metal has been metalised in gold, I think it would have been sharper, Mrs. Lutz Morris, if you'd done it in silver. That's an outfit. Thank you, girls. Other things I bought. This suit I bought from Joseph, and I hadn't bought a trouser suit for a few years. What about your essential underwear? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, let me rephrase that. I haven't bought a summer <laughs> trouser suit for at least three years. And I love this, and you're going to see it on now. So I can do it for a wedding, or I can do it for the office. I also had a moment with Vampire's wife, because I got this lovely uh, blue one, which I wore for when I went up to Leeds, and it's just such a pretty summer colour. And when I got it, I slightly felt, I've seen this style a lot and Kate Middleton's worn one in green, but I put it on and I felt joyous. I got some blouses and this is one of them and it's in a diffuse element of a Trini London yellow that was mm -hmm. in the sample cell too. And I'll probably wear that with jeans yeah. or with white. I could wear it with what I'm wearing with. Yeah, know, nice. I haven't like seen that. that style before. Yeah, it's a nice style. Lila had a dinner at school and I wore it and we were sort of matching. Yeah. But the colour is divine. It's Molly's favourite um, Mum Housewife, I think. Yes. Oh, oh let's see the coat. coat. The Balmar coat. This was a real shall I get it or shall I not moment. And it was still very expensive. And when I saw it originally, it was on the outnet. So already there was like 80% off. And then Molly, you found the site called Honey, Honey, which gives you further discounts on other sites. And she put in and she got it another 10% off. So it was 90% off. I then had the kind of extra excess stuff taken off by a Susanna. We did that in previous Cosmic Confessions. But I do need show pieces when I do big events. So for the launch of Trini London Land, you know, I was thinking, what am I going to wear? And I thought, actually, it's that. And Molly and I were like, we know it's that. <laughs> it's like a hand luggage piece then. It is so <laughs> hand luggage piece. God. The problem is, Jemima, there'll be quite a lot of hand luggage pieces, and I just don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> For my final look, I think I don't want to do red, 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 but I'm going to do Talish, which is a lip glow, and it looks really red in the pop, but it's not that red on. A little bit on the cheeks. Like that. My summer dress. My designer summer dress. I love it. Yeah, it is. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is that when you're going somewhere in the summer and you need that really elegant fabulous summer dress you know which you can wear at night you can wear to a party you can wear in the day sightseeing with a trainer it's made of cotton it's got pockets <laughs> what's not to love it's great it has got a little bit of black in hasn't it it's got it's got such a smidgen that i don't mind darling it's also got prada written can i just tell you i nearly didn't buy it because of that although when you stood up we could barely it see it nice. it was in the fold actually jemima come okay. in because i want to okay. ask you something all right you know me there is a part of me that feels i bought a lot and i think to myself do i feel embarrassed by what i bought i know i'm just going to say that to you mm. when you look at it what do you think jemima i think you are great at buying in your style so you're not making many mistakes when you do buy yeah but also like i get every payday i'm like i want to buy something new yeah. So I think because you work in that industry, you do want to buy stuff. Yeah. That's how I feel. It's difficult. It's very difficult. And, and there's such a big conversation now about how can we, you know, just slow fashion down mm. and not be buying so much. So the whole conversation we always have is whatever you buy and whatever your budget is, and we all have a different budget, know that it's going to stay in your wardrobe. I always take a picture of something I want to buy. And then if I never look at the picture again, I'm like, I didn't want to buy it. And if I do... I'm like, I need to buy it. Yeah. Getting what about you, Molly? <laughs> I love to swap clothes with friends. 
rather than just always buying. We yeah. sometimes just swap things in the wardrobe. I mean, I usually do want my item back, yeah. but just for a few months, <laughs> just it's quite fun. To that. But that, I love that. I also pack all of my like winter clothes away, take them to my parents' house, and then when it's winter again, you go back and you're yeah, like, oh same. my gosh, I've got all of this. So true. It's like. Take them far no, away from you. Yes. You can Send do them that away. if you still have parents who look after your stuff for you. Or put it in storage. Or put it in storage. You know. But I've done that when Lila and I have gone down to the cupboards to explore mm. and I've got boxes down there of stuff to save for Lila and occasionally I've got something that's gone, oh my God, I still love that. And it's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Next week, you can leave suggestions too for the summer as it's warming up and what you'd like to see and people going on holiday, like we said. Think about what you'd love and in the meantime, have a fabulous weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Molly. Bye. Bye.